guys, today we are back with another video on the channel where today we are playing Minecraft again because you guys know what time it is today. Well, um, then you should look on your device if you don't know. But today we are doing the tutorial that I promised for the vote. Now, I have a special thing to show you guys, and the winner here is. Answer B! Yeah! Oh, let, let me turn that. Let me turn this off. It's, it's kind of loud. It's kind of loud. It's kind of loud. It's kind of loud. Okay, there we go. Now we can read the wall of shoutouts. Now I have I have here three shoutouts for you guys who voted for answer B because for what I'm doing here, who Whatever answers are chosen will get a shout out. So like if they if answer C won, then I would do all the the people I would shout out all the people who answered answer C or any of the others. But today we have a shout out for answer B. Okay, so the first one here is for Brittany Maynard and she says great explanation. I pick B. Also really like the music on the last video any chance you'll do it that again well i did that last time i did read that comment in the in the description of my last video my last minecraft video so yeah i put that in for the mad city video if you guys didn't see that go see that after you watch this video next shout out bonnie coleman so yeah um that that's a that's a joke i think from like when every time i say oh um so yeah like in intersections Great video. Like the other B, which I think is Brittany Maynard, since that comment was before, I will vote for B as well. Good stuff. Now, from Mac and Gaming, which is one of the featured channels on this YouTube channel, and he says, B, B, Iron is good gamer. Okay, so those are the wa uh, walls of shoutouts, and we are going to do the Iron Farm that was answer B. And there is a surprise at the end of the video, so watch till the end. But for this farm, the iron farm that we're building today, you will need these items. Um, so you will need seven temporary blocks. I'm using bedrock. Um, 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 let's see, six um, blocks that you will use for the build. I'm using diorite. Three beds, any kind of bed. Glass, which you need 44. Four smooth stone slabs or any kind of slab. Two carpets, um, two oak, uh, two um, trap doors, two buckets of water, seven wo seven fences, um, four signs, a lava bucket, three villagers, one zombie, a name tag, a cauldron, um, two chests, two hoppers, and an anvil. Now, for you guys who are doing survival friendly stuff, you will need scaffolding and um. A uh, weapon of your choice to give the zombie if you can find one or use the name tag in this box over here I'm um, sorry if you hear my voice tremble I'm a bit cold in here um, and um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to find some villagers you'll have to find some zombies too um, so you'll throw the 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 weapon of your choice at the zombie and then it will pick it up making it not despawn and you're probably wondering why those blocks are there i will get to that at the end of the video and there we go okay so let's start building this farm so that's one two three four five six seven eight so here we go this is where we're going to build it i built it a li little bit short last time next you're going to take your temporary blocks and regular building blocks you're going to place let's see so we're going to place the regular block here and the temporary block here temporary block here now you're going to need to get um the trap doors take your trap door place it right there now you're going to need your bed or three beds actually and you're going to want to place them like here, here, and um, here. 
So there we go. Those are your three beds placed in. And let's see, the next step we have to do is to want regular block here. Wanna go, you're gonna want to get your slabs, which you should have four of again, and place slab here, and slab here. And then next, what you want to do is place a temporary block here and trap door and you and you should be out of trap doors but i'll get to i'll get i'll make it so that you have more trap doors later um because you will need more and then you'll need a piece of carpet right here then you can remove this temporary block and then we now wait for the next step okay so now what you're going to want to do is get your temporary blocks and place two of the temporary blocks right there and then what you want to do now is get your three villagers if you got them already in a containment place then you can bring them up on this side up over here and drop them in use a fishing rod and maybe lure them in and the slabs are here to keep them inside of here because they can't actually jump up here and neither can the player which means it's secure so then you want to place one two and three and then if you see the green sparkles that means they um they are attracted to these beds and now they are linked to the bed which means they can sleep at those at night okay so now next step so next here you are going to need some more materials which are in here you're going to need now your block glass or any kind of glass that you have so now you got to take your glass place one glass here and then another glass here and then you want to take your regular blocks and place them right here which means you should be on your last blocks which or if you brought more so we already used six of the blocks which means you should not have any more of these blocks so we'll just get them out well actually i want those hold on i want those <laughs> gotta save my inventory space and okay now we gotta get the glass place glass here glass here now we're gonna place these glasses here and right here and here so you should have a little heart shape here with the little ends right here and you want to build these five blocks tall so one two three four five one two one two three four five and then you can build the rest like this and build them up here and build them up like this and also if you have any questions about this farm leave them down below and i will be able to answer them okay so next step there should be more temporary blocks you should have one here and here to help you build the glass part otherwise you will be wasting glass and you'll have two less glass than you're supposed to and now what we have to do is place temporary block right there and then we have to go down back into our shulker box and grab the fence posts we need these and we're going to need the signs and the lava oh wait and we might need a bucket of water and let's grab both of them okay so what you want to do is you want to take your fence posts and you have to use all of them here which means you will be left with none unless you brought extra which i understand if you brought extra and you want two signs here you're going to press done every time you place one and leave a gap right here this is where your lava is going to go and it should stay like this if you if it's not like that then you're doing something wrong okay and next thing is what you want to do is take your water bucket place it right here and it should be flowing like this and if it's not then you might need to put some extra water buckets but usually that ends up in doing that so yeah you really don't want to do that because then it makes infinite water and you don't want infinite water you just oh oh no 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 we want regular water not infinite water we are going to move on to our next step okay so you might be wondering why do we have this extra water source block thingy over here 
Well, there's a simple reason for that, and what you can do now is get rid of these blocks right here. Actually, do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that right now, so I'm going to put that one back in case they try and run, which I don't think they will. You can remove these temporary blocks right here, and one right here. And then what you want to do is, if you're in survival mode, you can jump onto these fences just by bobbing and jumping. And you do not want to fall like that, because then you might die if you're not wearing any sort of protection. You might be low on health. You want to jump on these beds since they're bouncy, which means they will negate fall damage by just a little bit. Which means that will get rid of if you do not know what negate means. And what what you want to do is get this what. You want to get this trapdoor waterlogged. Now, this was a feature added in 1.13, where you can actually waterlog things. You may want to do it at the corner. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we have the water in, which means you should be running out of resources right here. And you can see, you only have a little bit of amount left. So let's, so, let's move on to the next step, and the farm will be almost done. You can now remove this block here, this block here, and now we can break the scaffolding. And that's a nice sound right there. Sorry if you didn't hear it, maybe, I don't know, because I don't know if the sound got fixed or not. If, and if it didn't, then I'll have to redo this whole video, but hopefully you're watching. I didn't have to, or maybe I'll just upload it without the, with the with the sound bugs and stuff. I don't know. Okay, so what you want to do is get your cauldron, zombie, name tag, and anvil. Now, what you want to do is take your anvil and name tag. Oh wait, the sky is getting dark. Hold on. Well, not no, we don't want any foggy days or things here. Okay. Now we gotta get our name tag in here. And we have to come up with a name for our zombie here. This is for our zombie. Okay. Well, let's see. Wait, I can't type. Hold on. Not a zombie. There we go. That's, that's what we're going to call it. You can break your anvil if you want to break it or not. I don't know. You might want to keep that anvil since it is very expensive to make one anvil. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go right here. And what you want to do... You might need scaffolding for this, but you want to place two blocks out here. And, and make sure you do shift, right click, or else if you right click, then it will say that. But you do not want it to say. So... What you want to do here is you want to go two blocks out, grab your cauldron, place the cauldron, and then this is where our zombie is going to be. Now you're probably thinking, how are we going to make this zombie not be burned? Because if you, if you do see here, I will give you an example. If you place a zombie out in the wild with any sunlight directly, you see, it burns because of the sun. And any amount of sunlight will burn if it touches, like, the head area. So how are we going to do this? Especially if we place the zombie in a cauldron, then it will still burn. Then what are we going to do? So, there's a simple way here, is what you have to do is place some temporary blocks all around. Well, you can leave one spot open, I think. But, okay, so we can test it. Does it work? Oh, he's suffocating. Hold on. He was suffocating. Hold on. Now place two little blocks right there. You will need another slab, which is, well, you need a slab here. And hopefully your zombie doesn't burn. But you want to put that zombie in last anyways. So what you want to do is grab another one of your carpets, place one up here, and now if you if you're doing this in survival, you will have to do this probably at nighttime, getting a track here and bringing your zombie up into the cauldron at night. Now it should be simple. Hold on, let me get this rotten flesh since we don't want that in here because we don't want the zombie to pick it up. Now we can break all of these here around. 
And hopefully, once we place this guy in, as you can see, it won't burn. Burn. Well, that it's a, it's a little glitch in Minecraft where you, if you place a slab and then a carpet, the zombie won't burn. So, yep, high five to glitches. Okay, so what happens here is again the the villagers get scared and the zombie and from the zombie and they call reinforcements and, and all that stuff. I'll leave the the link the video link in the description where I explain how this works, which is the same video as where I explain how all these. Okay, now now it's thunderstorm. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna need to place one here, here, and possibly right here to stop them from spawning here, like in the beds. But you can make sure that doesn't happen. This might cause a lot of mobs to spawn. But you can do it by doing time set night. So we'll do this slash time set night. Now, if they sleep in the bed, that means they're not good. But if we, so if we punch this, um, if we get a sword, and if we kill our named zombie, I am sorry. Wait, oh wait, I forgot it's not named. Hold on. They should go to bed. Make sure that happens. And then we need time set day. Time set. We'll do time set noon. And if that happens, then you'll need a slab right here. So. Yeah, is this is all part of the process. So we'll do time set night again. Time set night. And this should put them to bed. What you want to do? Destroy this. Place a slab. Now test it again. This will have to go multiple times if you're doing this in um. If you're doing this in survival, you will have to wait night after night, which might take an hour for you to finish this all. I don't know, but hopefully you are fine with it. So now let's do time set noon. And there we go. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't do it right. <laughs> you have to do for this part here. And now you can what you can do is get your zombie. Place your zombie here. And you'll have to wait a while for an iron golem to spawn, but it will eventually spawn. And then the farm will be working. And if it's not working, then you might need to refresh this farm, I don't know, but you might need to reduce the farm villagers, but do whatever you need to do to make this farm work, and there we go. Oh wait, we forgot something, we forgot our hoppers, we're going to need those, we're going to need some chests, you might need more than two hoppers, but I'm going to use more than two. And there you go, you see the iron drop, which gives us iron, and we'll need to make this go down, I'll make it go down to like arm's length. So, so we don't have to build this down. I'm sure, that's arm's length. Yep, you can see we got iron and poppies. And there we go, another one spawns. And as you can see, it starts to burn, crack. Eventually, it will come down, and it will give us iron and poppies. And then, if you want more storage, you can make a double chest. And there you go. And that is all I have for today. Really? Again? I Why? Okay, as I said, um, this is the whole farm. And if you have any questions on it, make sure to drop them down below. And let's see. Let's see what's down here. I'm going to have to build these up. And we're going to go through a special teleportation chamber, which will put us somewhere special. Somewhere we have never seen before. Well, actually we have. Well, what is this place? Well, you will see right here. Let's see. Is the teleporter working? Okay, I think the teleporter is working now. It might be. Oh, why are we falling onto the ground? Oh, wait! Here it is! There we go! This is the showcase area that we had before in the first Minecraft video. And I've added some stuff for the carpet farm, don't mind that. But, I am going to do another vote again! Right here, and you can get your chance to be in the next shoutout, as you can see. This has been working very well, too. 
and that is still running over there, I think. And I want you guys to vote again, except for B will not be the iron farm. We're going to vote A for the rail farm, and we're going to vote, we're going to vote, we're going to vote B for the carpet farm, C for the stone slash cobblestone farm, and D for the tree farm. So, if you guys haven't watched my last Minecraft video, you will know where these farms are from. You, you will not know where these farms are from unless you watch that video. So, I will leave that on the screen right now. As you can see, it's on the screen. And I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if you have any questions on the farm. And I will, guys, I will see you guys next time. And make sure to vote in the comment section or... For your chance to get entered into a shout out in my next Minecraft video. And I'll see you guys next time. Good.